Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronix with an Atria. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how you can easily get warm and better skin tones in Photoshop using just simple techniques. And these are going to be very simple and easy to follow. So, if at all this is what you have always wanted to learn, I request that you hit the like button on this video because it's going to help YouTube push and recommend this video to many pe people out there. And if at all you haven't hit the subscribe button, I request that you smash the like and subscribe button at once. So we're going to be learning how to color grade and get better and warmer skin tones for images in Photoshop. So you can see this is the before and the after before after. So just, we just want to achieve this kind of look in this image. So in order to achieve this kind of skin tones and have that uniformity within the skin tones in Photoshop, let me just delete this. We are going to be starting from the very start. So we're going to be using two adjustment layers for this kind of color grading in photoshop so in order to achieve this simply come to the adjustments right here and come to gradient map so when you come to gradient map you're going to notice that the image is going to be having this kind of overlay depending on the colors that you have on these color swatches but this doesn't matter at all so after doing this simply come to the gradient icon or layer right here and simply turn it off by left clicking on the eye icon right here so after hiding it simply come and select this gradient icon so make sure the gradient icon is selected and not the layer mask so when this is selected right here you're going to come and double click on this color so what i've done i've selected this gradient icon and double click on the color to open up the gradient editor so under gradient editor we have this gradient layer where we want to sample the warm colors from the image itself so we're going to sample from the darkest part of the skin tone the mid tones of the skin tone or the midpoint of the skin color and the light point or the light color of the skin so just going to come right here and simply double click on this topper tool. So when you double click, it's going to open up the color picker adjustment or layer dialog box right here. And with this, simply zoom into the image. So this one is going to be representing the darkest area, the mid tone and the brightest area of the skin that we want to sample. And those colors are going to be representing the overall skin so just going to choose the darkest point of the skin tone so i think around this point so simply left click to sample and before sampling make sure the sample size is set to 5 by 5 average so you sample the darkest point so i feel like this is the darkest point of the skin tone and click ok then click anywhere in the middle to make a point and make sure the location is set to 50 so just type in 50 right here to be precise and after doing that simply double click on this stopper and it's going to open up the color picker tool once again so choose the mid color or the mid tone color of the skin so just choose a color that falls within the mid tones and simply click ok then we're going to do the same for the brightest color of the skin so double click to open up the color picker tool and you sample the brightest color of the skin so this is my brightest color and simply click ok so after doing this simply you can see that we have chosen the colors from the darkest to the brightest color of the skin and we're going to come and click ok but remember what we did basically we have just mapped the colors from the image itself so just come and turn on the colors to appear or affect the overall image by clicking on the visibility icon on this layer so after doing this we're just going to come to the blend mode and change it from normal and we're going to change it all the way down to color so when you change it to color you can notice that it's affecting the overall image and the image has turned out to be different so i'm just going to close this so in order to map only on on your skin we're going to be using layer masks and a brush tool to paint in the colors where we want them to be and in this case we want paint in the color grading on only a skin area so we're going to come and select the brush tool 
and make sure it is a soft round brush with the hardness of 0%. Make sure the opacity is 100%, flat 100%. And this time around, make sure the white line mask is selected. And when it is se selected, simply press Ctrl I on the keyboard, or you can press Command I if at all you are using Mac. So with this done, we have to make sure white is a foreground color and we have black and white on these color swatches. Then you can as well reset this by simply left clicking on the tiny boxes or squares right here to reset to the default. Then you can switch between black and white by using X on the keyboard or you can left click on this arrow. So make sure white is the foreground color. Remember in Photoshop, white is going to reveal and black is going to hide. That is why the color grading was hidden behind the black mask. For, so we want to reveal it by painting using a white brush. So just going to increase on the size by using the bracket keys on the keyboard and simply paint on only the skin. So I'll just do a quick job right here, trying to paint on the skin. So you can zoom in by pressing Ctrl plus to zoom into the image and you paint precisely on the skin area. So I'm just going to paint on only the skin just like that. So keep away from the edges or even the hair because we don't want that to be affected. So you can see I've painted some extras. So if at all you want to delete the extras that you have painted on the skin, you can use or switch back to black by pressing X and you can eliminate the color grading from where you don't want it to be in your image. So right now, this looks okay. It looks great. But now the image kind of looks pale. So you can see that we even painted in the eyes. So eliminate it from the eyes. Just like that. So after you have painted on the skin area, the next thing is going to be adding contrast to the skin itself. So I'm simply going to come right here to adjustments and simply come to brightness and contrast. Then we want the effect to affect the skin area or where, where we have just painted the color grading so just come and clip it so create a clipping mask on only to affect this layer so just come create a clipping mask and come and add contrast to the image and you can see this looks way better than it was before so this is without the clip the contrast and this is with uh, the contrast and it looks way better so if at all you feel like you have overdone the color grading, simply come to the gradient map player and reduce the opacity to the one of your liking. So at around 68, mine looks okay at 68. So if at all you would love to take this a little bit further, you can simply add one more adjustment layer, which is the gradient map. So with the gradient map, you can simply come right here, down here, and come and select rather the solid color adjustment layer so we come and select solid color so with solid color selected simply press ok so you can see it has affected the overall image so simply hide or turn off the solid color adjustment layer right here and by hiding it you can now double click on the solid color adjustment layer right here and you choose any warm color within the image so I'm just going to sample any random color by left clicking and clicking OK. And after doing this, I'm just going to turn it back on by clicking on the visibility icon so that it can come back on. And after doing that, I'm just going to clip the effect to affect the layers below by holding out the alternate key on the keyboard and simply left clicking between the two layers. So I've added a solid color adjustment layer to fine tune as uh, the color grading so you can see this is without it and this is with it I'm just zoom in a little bit so this is without the solid color adjustment layer and this is with the solid color adjustment I'll look at how richer the skin tones have gotten to be so after doing that you can come and reduce on the opacity if at all it is a little bit too much for your liking and this is it for the color grading process. Let me just group this and I show you the quick before and after for this. So Ctrl G to group them after selecting them. So this is the image before 
after before after you can see how nice and better the skin looks and if at all it is too much come and reduce on the overall opacity and this is the before after before after so this is it for this video and if at all you have learned a thing out from this video don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating